This is our first day on the job. And so this is St. Peter's Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. I'm gonna try to pan the room. That's the ceiling we're gonna be painting up there. So that's, that's about 30 feet up. And we've got two of those big dishes on the ceiling to do. And so this is gonna be fun, you know, working on high scaffolding, doing clouds. And I'm really looking forward to the, to the finish on this one, but we're gonna have to have somebody send us pictures because they got a lot of remodeling to do. Look at that old organ. It's cool. This is Vince Ross from Florida. What's your town? Labelle. Labelle, from Florida. LaBelle, Florida. He's going to be helping me do these clouds. So he's going to be a pro cloud painter by the time this job's over. <laughs> Hopefully. our progress that's what we got so far and we had to change the plan a couple times already a few color changes you know small adjustments but we're real happy with the way it's coming out tomorrow we're gonna come back fresh we still got to do that up there and we got that that little circle tired man we are tired look at that guy really <laughs> So it's Friday, I think, and we're headed over to St. Peter's Catholic Church here in downtown Richmond, Virginia. This left lane, we're not used to this. People just use this far left lane as a turn lane. There's no turn lane, there's just the through lane and people just stop in the lane, right on the middle of the road, they just stop. Now we actually overshot our turn just now. <laughs> We've done this about every day. So we're making real good progress here. Something that I run into all the time is that once I get it on the wall, it, it gives me something to look at and I think of ideas that will improve it. So we're working off of a rendering that's, that just gives us a pattern. You know, this is always a good idea to have something to work off of so you're not trying to think it out from scratch on a large scale. It takes forever to step down off of big ladders and scaffolding and uh, rather than thinking it out on a small scale and then just you know it saves your brain if you just have that picture to go off of on the big job but even with that you know I still think of ideas to add to it so so one I'm thinking right now what I'm gonna do is just put a second layer it's hardly any surface area on the ceiling but it's gonna look like it's going up instead of just looking like it's on that flat ceiling I'm gonna use a lot more blue in the shadow to make that cloud look further then that more violet colored shadow that has more red in it that's gonna be down below it that's, that's already on the wall. So you'll be able to see that difference it makes in, in getting that depth. Just a, a little effect that I think is, is gonna be, now that I'm seeing the picture, I, I'm just feeling like that's gonna be a real good accent for people walking in the door. The door's right here where people are gonna enter this place and have this prime view of this ceiling. Okay, so I'm standing here with Father Rossi, and this is his church here, and he's the one with the vision to do this whole huge project. The Diocese of Richmond, the cathedral, which is kind of the mother church of the diocese, this was originally the cathedral. In 1834, this was the original cathedral of the bishop. Several days of the week, they have people who are living on the streets going in and out of here getting food. Yeah. And I've seen like blankets and yep. bedding out there. Yeah, so we have two missions. I mean, we want to be a place where God is encountered through prayer on uh, worship upstairs is kind of our upstairs area and then downstairs we have a very uh, dynamic outreach to the poor and the homeless we feed hundreds every week 
Uh, they come and we have meals for them, hot meals and things. So, and then we hired Joe here, and uh, he flew out here all the way to Richmond, Virginia. He's never been here before, and uh, he's just worked around the clock to give us exactly what we want. And it's just as 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 close to perfection as we're going to see on this side of heaven. So it's very good. Uh, and uh, we've had some parishioners. It's just going to be a big unveiling because some of the parishioners have been sneaking in and looking and they're all just so excited because uh, it's kind of the icing on the cake. You know, we had a whole church restored, but the murals are really the icing on the cake. And I told them, I said, uh, don't mess up because for about 75 years at least, people are going to be looking at it. So if you mess it up, it's no, no pressure. No pressure, that's right. Alright, we're here on like day seven. It's Tuesday and uh, we got here last Wednesday. That is high. We're a little bit nervous at that height. So I choose the perspective that I want it to look good from. So the clouds on that side, I modeled to look good from this angle. So then when you come on this side, over here, then you see those towering up. Those clouds right there. So, here we go. It's going on six o'clock, man, I'm tired. So I'm here with Kelly, who came down from her town. You'll have to remind me what your town is called. Bristow, Virginia. Kelly actually hosts these art workshops with kids. So what is your art workshop called? Uh, Minor Miracles Art Camp. And this year, Mural Joe was kind enough to volunteer his time and Skype in with the kids. I had two groups and they absolutely loved uh, hearing <laughs> all his wonderful things that he taught them. And for me, that's always a thrill because, you know, I have a hard time getting my best friends to be interested in all of my art research, you know. <laughs> and so I bored people a lot of the time. But, but this was cool, you know, these kids, they're, they're like serious about learning some stuff at these workshops. Yeah, they're very excited to hear everything you have to say. Sometimes the paint gets real boogery, you know, when you get to the bottom of the can. Oh yeah, look at that. See, that's what we got out of there. I love it. I'm standing here with Jose. He was the boss man on this entire job, and thanks to him, we were able to use all of this giant scaffolding. He's here with his family right now, three daughters and his wife. So, we're having a good time saying goodbye, leaving things behind. Thank you for everything. This is Joe Harvey, <laughs> and he's the organist here at St. Peter Catholic Church here in Richmond, Virginia. So we're we're giving him this as a gift. This is the original rendering. Uh, uh, this is the rendering we used for that middle piece on the seat. We're leaving this as a gift for Father Ross. This is the brush that painted every cloud on the seat. <laughs> <laughs> 